Cutting machine. It's capable of threading, cutting, and reaming various sizes of pipe from half inch through four inch. It will do both NPT and NPSM threads. The 1224 threads a wide variety of pipes, anywhere from black, galvanized, and plastic coated pipe. The 1224 has an oil sump system. It will take oil from a sump in here, feed it up through the die head. It will lubricate both the dies and the pipe during the threading operation. Steel Dragon Tools recommends using a good high grade cutting fluid for doing any threading operation. Uh, the Steel Dragon Tools 1224 uh, will also fit a rigid cart as you see here it's mounted on a 158 it will also fit the 208 cart as well the machine has a three-speed gear selector it has a forward off and reverse switch and all is controlled by a safety foot pedal the machine is shipped with a 711 die head included with that die head are half to three-quarter high-speed steel dies as well as one to two inch high speed steel dies and also is the 714 die head which has the capacity of two and a half to four inch pipe also included our high speed steel dies prior to any threading operation it's critical to make sure that the cutting fluid is at the proper level make sure that the sump is completely submerged still to the proper level the cutting fluid should be approximately a half inch or so from the top of the sump. Also be sure that the pickup is completely submerged. After filling the machine to the proper level with cutting fluid, be sure to install the secondary chip collector. And once the chip collector is in place, the final is to put the primary chip collector. Uh, for this operation, we're going to thread a piece of half inch pipe. So what we've done is we've fed a piece of half inch pipe through the machine. We'll lock the front jaw. Snug up the rear jaw. We want to make sure that the speed selector is set for half inch to three quarter inch pipe. We're going to first trim off Make sure we have a clean piece of pipe. Put our on off switch in the forward position. thing we'll do, we'll bring our reamer down, clean off the burr on the inside of the pipe. We're going to use our 711 die head. We want to make sure that we have the die head set for half inch pipe. Once it's set, we lock it down. We set the trigger. We will bring the die head up to the edge of the pipe. And with this particular die head, you notice this little black trigger down here. This is going to determine how much threads are cut onto this half inch piece of pipe. And once the proper thread depth is reached, it'll automatically open up the die head. So we'll start the machine, make sure we have an oil flow. And 
there we have half inch threads. For this next operation, we're going to be threading a piece of three inch pipe. I've already got the pipe mounted in the machine. The front jaw is tight, the rear jaw is snug. We have the speed selector set for two and a half to four inch pipe. Now on this operation you notice we've changed die heads. We've gone from the 711 to the 714 die head. The 714 die head allows us to thread from two and a half to four inch pipe. Being that this is three, we've got an adjustment here that's graduated from two and a half to the four inch. We have it set at three. Now because we're cutting taper threads, we have a lock plate up here that we must set for NPT. And if you look at this, you can see that the NPT is in its proper position. The plate is tightened down. We have a, a release foot, which is right here. And to get this to the proper position, we bring the die head close to the pipe. We set the release foot. We'll start the machine. Once we get a flow of cooling, we'll have to put a little bit of pressure on the wheel to get the thread started. Once we see an even flow of thread chips, you can release the pressure on the hand wheel. We have a side block here. This determines our thread length. Once the proper thread depth is reached, you'll see the die head will fall down and release from the thread. see here that we've got a perfect set of threads on a piece of three inch pipe. For this final demonstration, I'm going to cut a set of straight threads on a piece of three inch galvanized rigid conduit. I've already got the conduit mounted in the machine. And uh, the next operation though, I need to make some adjustments to the die head so that we can cut straight threads. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to reposition the lock plate so that it's set for straight thread operation. And that's accomplished by loosening that lock screw, moving the plate out of the way, snugging it down, and it allows the lock handle, the die head lock handle, to fall into a detent. Next thing is we want to roll this release foot out of the way, then we'll Tighten down our lock screw so that we keep the foot out of the way. And then the last thing we'll do is our sign block is not utilized for cutting straight threads. So we move it to the farthest position to the right, and you notice there's a hook here. This hook will fall into a little detent hole, and it holds that sign block out of the way. Uh, the depth of the straight threads are all determined by uh, the operator. Uh, rule of thumb is you get the threads to the end of the die head and a thread or two past that and then the release handle is hit and it will open the die heads up. So we're going to set this for three inch. We're ready for the threading operation. We have our transmission set for two and a half to four inch. The die heads are in position. Step on the foot pedal. Wait for a flow of cooling. Same operation. It puts heavy pressure on the hand wheel until we get the thread started. Once we see a good thread flow, 
Release the pressure. And the rest of the operation is automatic. Once we see the pipe approaching the face of the die head, gets a thread or two past, get the release handle, the dies are out of the way, and we've got a good set of straight threads on a piece of three inch galvanized rigid conduit.